So how to add royalty free music to your blogs. Now, as I described in earlier lectures, music and especially new up and coming music, the latest hits can't be added. Um, well, I guess it can, but you know, it's going to, you might get a strike on YouTube and three strikes and you're out. So um, they really do not want you to do that. And and you really shouldn't. It should be your own original. So there's a lot of different websites that you can go and check out that basically if you type in royalty free music for YouTube that can come out. But I found there was quite a good selection on that app that I was talking about earlier called Splice. S-P-L-I-C-E. So this app was really is really designed for a GoPro footage and putting music on it and you can use it for your blogging. Moreover, there's actually also some awesome editing um, on it as well. Um, you know, you can also add some different titles on your vlogs and whatnot. The music does come in a different array. Um, I use the ambient um, ones quite a bit. They're kind of calm and I put them at a very, very low, just, just kind of hearing it. So if you put it at the full volume, it's going to overwhelm you and you can't hear your vlog. So I put it right at the end in terms of the um, the actual sound of the of it and just background noise just to kind of get rid of the hum or wind or whatever and it just created that nice little ambient theme. Um, I'd normally add one or two songs. I wouldn't go overboard. The, I mean, you know, when you're doing daily vlogs and time is limited and you really want to get out there and continue to film, editing and adding more music, you know, it's fine if you're not doing daily vlogs, but time is not your friend, so you really just gotta pick one, go with it, and like I said, the vlog doesn't have to be perfect, as long as it looks good to you, that's all that counts. So royalty free music, my recommendation is the app called Splice. So how to upload your vlog onto YouTube. So let's say for instance, you've got your eight, your eight minute vlog, you've added music, it's all looking really good, okay, you're happy with it, now you want to add it onto YouTube. I had two different ways to do this, and it all does depend on your internet connection, in my opinion. If you've got a really, really good Wi-Fi connection, okay, it's really strong, what I would do is, if it's, I would add the, the actual vlog onto Splice, if it's not there already, and then on Splice, there's an, an option to share it on social medias, and one of them is YouTube. And if you connect your YouTube with Splice, um, it'll go to it and then you can push the name, you know, the description, etc. And then it normally goes in a little percentage to upload and that takes about roughly 10 minutes, maybe 5 minutes if it's really good Wi-Fi. Um, so once that's now uploaded, it's done, it's 10 minutes, it'll go success. Then what you can do is then go um, and add another app, which is basically called the YouTube um, Editor. And you can go to that recent um, YouTube that you've added, and then you can change the description, you can change the title, add tags. Now tags are very important, because obviously it'll help people searching for that particular topic, um, it'll help relate to other things, it'll really help with the algorithm to rank higher. So you've only got a selection of 500 characters of tags, so use them wisely. You know. Some common words um, are very competitive, such as, you know, YouTuber or vlogger. So really maybe do two or three words that does describe your video. So say for instance, your video is about traveling through Greece. So travel through Greece would be a tag, okay? Amazing vlogger in Greece would be another one, okay? Amazing sunsets in Greece would be another one. Amazing accommodation, amazing party spots in Greece. You know, these are all things that people would type to get and could potentially type and then click your actual video and then that will help you. Now, I really do think that a large portion of people selecting your video is due to having an awesome thumbnail. So spend some time with this, if anything, okay? For me, what worked really quickly was a few different things, okay? What I would do is I would firstly try and find if there was a scene in my actual video that was lovely like a sunset I'd make that my thumbnail okay and maybe put a little description but there are actually quite a lot of apps and websites that can help you one of the best ones that is free 
and it's a graphic design app that's really user friendly. It's kind of like a Dropbox sort of thing, um, drop and drag. It is called Canva. Canva actually have uh, basically templates for you to add and they've actually got a lot of free different pictures that you can use and I think the ones that do cost money are a dollar US so they're not too bad but you could even add your own onto it and make it look really nice make it look that stands out if you go and have a look at some of the top vloggers you can see that they've really used color they've got faces in there you know often They've got things that help if there's a red circle, people like to see what's that about, question marks, um, you know, those sorts of things. You can definitely check out that thumbnails if you can kind of get people's attention. Often they'll say, hey, what's this for you? If you just have a thumbnail of me, pretend you've taken a screenshot of me like this, people aren't gonna see it. But if you have color, you know, that will really help you. Now, I will give you a hint, and we're gonna go into this in a bit more depth, is a free software to use for thumbnails, description, tags is called TubeBuddy. Okay, type in TubeBuddy into Google and you can download the software for free and you can also pay to get better help from it. I use TubeBuddy, the, tree, the free trial version, and that helped me a lot. And in TubeBuddy, they've actually got a section that can help you create a good thumbnail. Okay, so I use TubeBuddy a lot. I will get into TubeBuddy a bit more down the track of this um, course, but TubeBuddy was definitely something that I really enjoyed. One more last point. Once you've actually finished all your description tags, everything, create, if you haven't already, a playlist. So say, for instance, you're traveling through Greece, say Greece Vlogs, and then put it in that playlist, and then make another playlist called Vlogs or Adventure. So three, I like three or four. I did normally four per vlog, um, you know, something like travel, because if someone on the side sees a list of travel, they might click it and then keep watching you and binge watch you. And how you earn more money on the YouTube monetization with AdSense is keeping people onto YouTube for long periods of time, okay? So if you can keep them watching four to five different videos, that might be half an hour. You're gonna get a lot of good points, which will basically mean you get paid well, and it all just works out. So playlists are key. Um, and I've got to think about, you can go and check out some of my playlists on my coach. I think I've got over about 15 to 20 playlists for different categories. So go and check that out. Anyway, that is the end of section two for this course. Um, it's kind of a whole basic rendition of trying to get that vlog into, into action. The next section is going to be how you really promote your vlogs and how you can bring it. So this is exciting because this is how you can get from a few little clicks, a few little views all the way up. So I think you're going to enjoy this next one. So let's, I can't look forward to seeing you there. Welcome to section three of this course called YouTube promotion. So I'm so glad to have you with me. I hope you've enjoyed it so far. Um, of course, there's a lot of content with this. So every time you hear something that good and then you can use, just put it down as a note on, on your book or stop the video and go and implement it, um, or download the app, or go and check out the website that I recommend, because you know trying to get this all out to you in the best way I can is definitely gonna help you to kind of absorb it and implement it. So I definitely think take notes. So let's move on. Okay, so we've got lectures, lecture 11, <coughs> how to get your first 100 subscribers in your first week. Okay, now this is not, not difficult at all. All it takes is for you to be a bit, I guess, open, ambitious, and for you to follow me because I know how to do this. So, trust me. Okay, so you've now got your little um, YouTube channel. Maybe you've got, I'd say, recommend to start about five to 10 videos up, and that's enough for people to kind of see you and check you out and subscribe for more, okay? Once you've got about 10, then I recommend charging with subscribers and views. Until then, don't make a big deal about it. Just keep uploading. You know, you really wanna just keep uploading. <clears throat> so let's, say, let's just say that you've got your 10 travel videos around Europe, okay? You're doing very well, you're happy with the content, it's, you're improving slowly. Now, in my opinion, 
creating other social media platforms under your exact name on YouTube is going to help you. You know, not everyone just uses YouTube. Some people are Twitter fans. Some people still love Facebook. They haven't moved away from it. Instagram, Snapchat, um, even LinkedIn. There's all different ones. And for me, this is what I did. I created the same name under all those other social media platforms. Okay. And I recommend you doing this. What this does is something quite interesting. And it goes into my next lecture, which I'll explain this more. It basically goes into a you create these little tribes or followings. This basically different social media platforms or different little groups that you can work together. And the whole purpose is for you to drive them all the way down filtering to your actual YouTube channel, which essentially is going to be your main distribution of work. Okay, so you want to have all the, the little ones. Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, and then drive them to YouTube and essentially clicking on your videos and essentially subscribing for more. So <clears throat> further to social media platforms, joining some communities is fantastic. Okay, YouTube have actually got a creator com community hub where you can actually talk and say, hey, I'm new, you know, here's my first, my latest video, what do you guys think? And you'll start getting basically traction and views and subscribers initially from there. So firstly, we've got our social media that we've set up and we're starting to post on there. So for instance, Instagram, you've posted a few pics from your thing, but in the bio, you've got a link to your video. Okay, so that's Instagram. Same with Facebook, you know, you've got a few photos up, you've got a link there to it and you share it on other Facebook groups. Okay, fantastic. Other travel, Google Plus, another one. You know, you've got your link there and then you share it on to other Google Plus groups. You know, a lot of these groups that you're sharing are maybe have 100,000, 200,000, a million plus people on these groups like travel. You know, so they're more likely because they like travel would consider viewing yours. But please, here's a disclaimer. I don't recommend sharing more than twice on each of these platforms. So for instance, on Google Plus, don't share your video three times, okay? Because Google Plus and a lot of them will pick you up with spam and could strike you out and get you out of there and um, could disconnect your Google Plus. It's happened to me. So make sure you only share to two groups a day, okay? Um, and that would, so maybe a travel one and then maybe something else about business or something else about you know, adventure, that is it. If you share more than twice, uh, there's a good chance you might get a strike. Admins won't like it. It's very easy to spam the whole internet with your blogs and try and get that way. And a lot of people do, unfortunately, but it's not a sustainable method, okay? You want to try and promote yourself. So let's come back a little bit. You've got your platforms, you've shared them up twice on each one. You've also started to promote a few communities like you know, the actual one on YouTube and there's a few others on the internet like Buzzfeed and Reddit and a few others. Now you've got a few views coming in, okay? So now it's about how to get those subscribers up. Now, I don't like to say, please subscribe to my channel. It's kind of like saying, come to my store and buy something. You're demanding it. Rather just say there's heaps more exciting value to come. Um, you know, it's, it, I've got some exciting things happening. You know, you want people to come back to your channel because there's some really awesome things that they could check out. So that's the view I reckon is works best for me and that's how I got the most subscribers. Now, <clears throat> one thing that I have realized is that obviously if you want to fast track your subscribers in the first week, you can go to somewhere like Facebook and pay a little advert and really micro niche the advert for travelers and pay $30 and get that video onto different platforms where people would likely to kick, click. And that is an option, okay? So you can actually pay to get your video out there on like Facebook, which I reckon is the best one. But if you think, oh, look, I don't have the money for that. I really want to start small and try and do it cost free. There are other ways to do that, okay? There's other ways that I've learned and I'm going to tell you right now that are free methods that you can implement, okay? Now, <clears throat> I've learned that these ways are definitely something that you can, I guess, 
um, implement a caution. You don't want to get cut off from different ways, but it's something that's an idea that you can work with, okay? Um, so say, for instance, you've done a travel um, blog, okay? And you really want people to, you know, see your video, subscribe for it for more. Now, you can go and put a simple um, little share on on a Facebook group, okay, and say, hey guys, here's my vlog, of my first vlog, what do you think? I would love to know your thoughts and review. People would be more interactive that way, okay? They're more likely to help you, okay? And that's where you start getting that connection with followers. And in the comments, people will be able to help you throughout the thing. And you know, the more people, people like to help people, and if you can get that happening, you will soon start getting some subscribers that can continue to build you up. And that's how you can get your first hundred. But here is the biggest trick that I've learned. On these different groups, once you've realized people that are helping you, start viewing other people's videos and start commenting on them, okay? And say, wow, that video was awesome. Give them some positive feedback, um, you know? Because as soon as they see that positive feedback, they're going to go straight to your videos, check them out and subscribe, okay? So make sure if you want to get your 100 subscribers fast, go and check out 100 different videos of people that are kind of out there talking on, on different social media platforms about videos and give them some positive feedback and they will reciprocate and subscribe. So that will get you your first 100 in the first week. So you're going to have to watch some videos, okay? That's going to help you. All right, on to the next one. So lecture 12, okay, this is basically a ideology that's happened for centuries about creating a tribe. And there's actually a book about it called, you know, creating a tribe and you can go and Google it. There's a lot of different ones. But what it means is about getting a following of people to absorb your content, you know, to follow you around because you are the person that provides that great value to them. Okay, and how do you create these tribes and the tribe can build quickly is through the different social media platforms. Okay, now in my experience, I found that I gathered a tribe very quickly on platforms such as Instagram. Instagram was fantastic. It's very organic, especially when you start hashtagging a few things like travel video, you know, or ambitious traveler or something like that. You start getting that tribe of people that are in that niche that come towards you and you can start commenting on their videos and they comment on yours and essentially your little Instagram with a few pics and then obviously the bio is quite a big talking point and you start getting 200, 300 likes and 50 comments of a thing and you really just build up this tribe, so to speak, on each of these. Instagram was definitely one of the best in terms of organic free content that you could use, okay? But definitely second in terms of paid would be Facebook. Facebook is fantastic because of the way that you can really manipulate an advert to tailor exactly to the person you want to view yours. So, you know, if you put a 30, 50, 30 to fifty dollar investment into an ad and really break down the marketing of the ad to focus on people that like travel, you know, that people that are ambitious, an age bracket, you know, you start getting down to a group of about you know, in Facebook, it could be in a country of the United States of 200,000 people. Now, those 200,000 people's people, beg your pardon, would likely to follow you because that's what they're interested in. Okay, so there's your 200,000. But now you just got to put your videos in front of them and then they will automatically become part of your tribe. And they might be your tribe on Facebook, but obviously your goal is to get them all the way to YouTube and that will be where you grow through YouTube. So you got to work your social media platforms sort of like that um, LinkedIn was a good one for me as well um, My videos were a lot about business and a lot of people obviously on LinkedIn are really there for business So I got a lot of talking on LinkedIn and my own personal LinkedIn. I mean, I think I only had about 1700 people, but I got more communication on LinkedIn than some of the other platforms that I use like Google Plus so in saying that Google Plus was really good because there's a lot of groups with millions of people on these groups. So that was fantastic. 
Sharing videos is fantastic and that can really start building up your tribe. You know, if you're on Facebook, you can share it to another similar group with lots of people and then hopefully encouraging them to share and it organically growing. So that's basically creating that tribe environment on each one and you're just building it up. But remember, don't always give people, don't always tell people to come check out your videos. Go out there and comment on theirs, okay? Try and be a person that provides value to them like hey guys you know check out what I found this awesome kind of website for traveling to find cheap flights you know go and check it out for example I know there's a cheap app that you can do called um, oh, what's it called <clears throat> I've gone blank on the app there's there's apps out there or websites um, you know that can really just get the cheapest flights that you might help them with and then they start becoming your friend and that's how the tribe builds so um, that's exactly what you can do and that's it I got it it's called kayak.com k-a-y-a-k.com go and check that app out or website and it really gives you the cheapest flights and stuff so you can provide that value to people and then they can essentially become your friends online and follow you and then go and check out your videos okay so thank you that's that's how we can build our tribe so facebook promotion as i've explained in previous lectures about building that tribe and creating your different social media platforms to engage people to your youtube channel and subscribe and view and be a raving fan how do you get to that how do you set up a different facebook and twitter account etc so i'm going to show you the example that i did and obviously I had my my coach um, channel which was my vlogging channel but what I did instead of calling it my coach the same on you on Facebook I actually created a different name that would be quite I guess broader and people might find interesting and like and then would find me so I created that Facebook name calling it the future millionaire vlogging club okay so I created it on Facebook as you can see over here you know, just simple, the Future Millionaire Vlogging Club. Okay, gave a nice little title. Um, you know, in the shop section, I got some books there. And I provide a lot of value, inspiration to people, um, which is fantastic. Um, but, you know, if you come have a look here, you know, there's 4,348 people that like this, okay, which is fantastic. Um, and, you know, I always pin one of the, my top trending videos. This is one of the videos... That I actually um, I uh, was able to post on here, and also got it on YouTube as well. So uh, that's another way you can post a live video on here and YouTube because this is um, it goes organically. And then, as you can see here, I've got this is what happened to me. Um, I found a dog, and I um, was able to take it to safety. He was very panicky, and you can go on to this and go and check it out. Then I got the full vlog here. But look at this organic traffic. You know, um, I've, it's had 4.8, nearly 5,000 views on here. You know, that's all organic. I haven't paid for that. That's just people sharing it, you know, to different things for dogs and people, you know, helping. Well done for doing that, helping the dog. You know, he was very scared. Um, you know, you can really see he oh, was in a bad state. That was a bad day. But thankfully for him, you know, I was able to look. This is by a main road here. So this is one of my vlogs that I did, and you know, it's not that stable, but it was a bit of, um, it was quite scary with all these, and he's coming running down here in a minute. So, you know, eventually I take him to the vet, I explain it as I'm going, my partner take, walked him there, and then I got him to the vet, and here he is, so we got him to safety, okay? So that's exactly what you can do. Then I've also put like other you know, information up here, other, I guess, marketing information or people that can, I could help value for, for, um, for people that are also vlogging or, you know, I've got a law of attraction little video here that might people find interesting. Um, you know, there's another one of my videos that I put up here. This is quite cool. Just a video. So I, I found a video that was on like viral thread that I'd share it on here. And people would find it interesting, you know, and they'd start engaging with me. There's me again talking about a topic. Here's um, this is a cool photo that I thought would be good on this, you know, 
people see the millionaire vlogging club you know it attracts vloggers and then it goes towards me and this is really good because you can really you know start narrowing down your niche okay so I and mean, then here's a book that's really good called three seconds the power of thinking twice um, there's um, yeah Gary V talking about something which is really cool you know helping people motivation this is really good this got a lot of shares this was a little video where this guy actually has creative ways to um, um, take videos with his camera and then it basically you know really helps the effect as you can see here is one very simple towel movement and then look at how it looks it looks really cool you know something different so you know there's stuff that you can help help people with and create value but it gets that tribe talking you know it really helps you get that tribe talking and that's what you want okay now a lot of it can become let me just do this now a lot of it can become you know i guess organic where you don't have to pay but you can see a lot of it you might say hey it's doing really well i might Put a bit of money towards that and get more views okay so you, you really want to basically in a nutshell build up all these social media platforms and coming back to your goals at the start i think a good goal for everyone is to have a goal in a year to get ten thousand people on facebook ten thousand people on instagram ten thousand people perhaps on linkedin and then obviously you know twenty thousand people on your youtube subscribers you know so that's a good real goal for you so it's one of the things that really did help me is leveraging off other social media platforms you know like i've said some people really like facebook and you know on they come on youtube now and then but they really like to stay there so you know let's go and get them you know let's go and get them because that's how youtube make money is getting people onto their platform viewing videos and ads and stuff so let's try and nourish them okay so twitter Twitter is really, really becoming, growing on me. I mean, I've always been a bit like ugh, another social media platform, but Twitter is amazing because you can talk almost directly to people on Twitter. Um, it's really good to kind of, it's kind of like sending a very quick email and they just get the, it right there and then they can answer back to you. But not only that, you could send out a tweet to all your followings and they instantly see you. So if you start building up a following of 10,000 people, okay, you've got 10,000 Twitter followers and, you know, you might even go to the extent where you can buy 10,000 for not that much, like active followers, don't get fake ones, obviously, you know, or what you can do is go and buy an old Twitter account, okay, you can actually buy accounts, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, okay, they might have 20,000 people all together, okay, that's not a bad idea, people have already done the hard work for you, so I'm just going to buy them, okay, you can even buy a YouTube account, and then, and then, which have subscribers already, and then build it from that, if you've got the money, do that, this is only if you want to start from scratch, and I mean, there's some, go and Google some page, do your research first, obviously, if you can travel, there'd be Go and buy a travel one. Don't go and buy, you know, a business one. So you've got people there. So you can actually go and do that. Now, let's just say, for me, I try to do everything from scratch. Okay, I don't really like. I like to do my own thing and learn as I go. So I use apps to help me to promote myself. And on Twitter, as you can see over here, I've got. Um, I'm following a lot of people. I've done a lot of tweets, and I've got one thousand three hundred and twelve followers. So if I do a tweet, okay. Um, they'll go straight to all of them straight away. So it's instantaneously, okay? And then they might retweet it. So just like Facebook, um, whenever I upload a video, I always go to Twitter, do a nice little message, a tweet with the video link. Check this out, guys. This is awesome in relation to, you know, business, you know, or entrepreneurship. And then it'll go to all of them. And then I get actually a lot of comments on Twitter. Um, I think it's quite an amazing program. Plus, what you can do too is go to some of the hashtags that people have actually done in Twitter, Instagram, and whatnot. So, say someone's done for our for our actual example, they've done um, travel to Greece, and that's where you are. You can 
check out that hashtag and see all the people that have and maybe connect with them okay so you're using the hashtags to actually help find different people which can then you know contact them they might like to promote you etc so twitter is fantastic i really recommend it um, start learning more about it go on youtube and learn how you can fast track your growth on twitter but you know twitter is amazing you know as soon as you finish your youtube grab the link throw it on twitter and it will grow organically you know really start engaging with people on twitter you know again complimenting people on what they're doing and they'll come help you tenfold I've, it's a trick it works all the time okay so get out there and do twitter instagram Instagram has been definitely the number one helper for me to fast track my growth on my YouTube channel, My Coach. Um, it has been very, very helpful. It's been amazing how I think it's probably the best organic traffic, especially with the different hashtags and people finding your content. You know, throughout your days of doing vlogs and stuff, you might come across potentially a lovely photo. So take a photo of that and use it for your Instagram feed. And then what I what I do with mine is I'd put that nice photo up there, do a few hashtags, and then always say link in bio to get the full vlog. And people might then go to your bio and then get your link to your YouTube and then watch it all. Okay. Another thing I've started to do recently is actually you're allowed in Instagram to do a minute um, of video. So try and take a minute of your vlog, like a preview, and put it in there. And again, put link in bio. Hashtag Greece travel, Greece is amazing, all that stuff, and you'll start filtering people and then get them to check out your link. And again, Instagram's amazing because people definitely comment, This is awesome, this is great, you know, how did you get this? And just answer their questions, okay? And I'll just build up, build up, and you create that tribe, tribe of following, and they will then hopefully go to your actual YouTube and like it and follow it and subscribe. So Instagram, so paid promotion with influencer marketing. This is definitely, in my opinion, one of the best ways to market your vlogs and you as a channel and to get that fast tracked road to success. Now, it's definitely something that's become quite prevalent in the, in the recent years, but to pay an influencer uh, and what is an influencer? An in influencer is a, is a person on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube or, or Twitter that has a large following, at least over a million followers, okay? That have definitely generated that organic traffic, has got some amazing, amazing tribe elements. You know, they love that person. And there are a lot of platforms where that occurs where you can actually go and pay an amount for that influencer say for instance on youtube who has over a million subscribers to provide you with a shout out or a free promotion or you know to tell people to, on their actual channel to go and view you and to go and view your your video or your channel whatever you like whatever you think will fast track your growth um, Often, if influences, the more people that are following with them, the better. And it can be amazing how quickly you can actually soar. You know, a lot of people try and get the free influencer marketing where they try and beg an influencer. But you know what? Just pay them. They, that's what, they want to get some money from what they've done. And if you pay them, they'll give you whatever you want. You know, there's some amazing stories of people that have paid maybe three or four influencers on different platforms and the growth that was fast tracked from that is has been essential and you can go and check that out um, you know there's a few uh, a few big big uh, websites that are growing significantly um, that do this so Google them there's there's so many that are starting to pop up um, there's one called tribe which is fantastic um, there is another one that's called um, and there's one called Grin. Grin, G-R-I-N, is another one which is amazing. And they predominantly do YouTube, YouTubers doing influencers. I've actually used Grin. Um, I used, um, I think I paid around $25 for a shout out from um, someone that had over 90,000 subscribers. And I definitely did see the growth, which was fantastic. But I try to make it uh, an effort for myself to try not to 
use too much money in the early days. I think in my season two of vlogging, I'll definitely use more influencer marketing. So it depends on what your budget is. If you've got money, if you've got a hundred bucks, you know, you can even contact them directly, email uh, someone that you think has got a good subscriber base that you want to get um, a slice of the pie with and say, hey, is it all right if you promote one of my videos or do a shout out, do a link to one of my my pages, what have you, and you know, I'll give you a hundred bucks by PayPal. Is that all right? You know, they might say I'll take it for 200 or yeah, 50 bucks is fine, whatever. So just get that communication happening. And you know, it's amazing how quickly your growth will happen if there's people with large followings of say a million plus can give you a shout out because obviously all that million will then be on you. I mean, you might not get the full million, it might be 200,000, but can you imagine what 200,000 people that are interested in one of your topics that the influencer has promoted, how that can change you? Because, you know, of that 200,000, let's say half decide to actually watch your whole video, so that's 100,000, and let's just say again, half decide to subscribe, that's 50,000 people subscribing to you just from paying an influencer who's got over a million. You know, that's amazing how much, I mean, that's just an example, but you know, how much growth, how much, how good would it be if you only paid 200 bucks for 50,000 subscribers? You know, it's, it's, it's basics. I mean, that's, that'd be quite a lucky conversion, but you know, who knows, you could get better. So it's an amazing way to promote and fast track yourself rather than doing an ad on Google and trying to hope that people like you and hope that the, they follow you and you get lots, you know, you can get the niche through the influencer. So give that a go. Awesome. Let's get on to the next one. Live streams. Live streams have become amazingly popular over the last, I'd say, year and a half since they've actually become online on YouTube, on Instagram, on Facebook. You know, people love that unedited stuff. That's why it's really good to start doing live streams as soon as possible. Because once you've done it, it added automatically goes on to you as another vlog. So it's awesome. You're hitting two birds with one stone without doing much editing. But the good thing about it is that you get to become almost like a person in the same presence of your subscribers. They can see you live now, like right now. It's amazing. But this is when it gets really exciting. Just like a infomercial or commercial that you used to watch about selling a vacuum and you've got a chance to engage them right now. And, and this is another trick I learned where you can actually do an offer for a product that you might have at a really good price. So again, let's come back to our uh, travel. You might have a really cool bag that you want to sell them for 20 bucks. And you can say to them right now on the live stream for the next 24 hours, guys, I'm selling this after you've talked to them, say, I'm selling this awesome bag for 20 bucks. Okay. If you send me the 20 bucks, I will be able to send it to you via mail and get it to you. Okay. So automatically, this is only for 24 hours and it will send it to you. You know, you might, if you've got a bit of a following at this stage, just to say, for instance, a thousand people stream into your live stream. And this is say, for instance, a hundred people purchase your 20 bucks. I mean, you know, a hundred times 20, you know, that's, two grand, you know, you've just made in an hour, straight up. I mean, you can see how really exciting this can be, you know, and you might have, you know, made only $2 a bag. So, you know, let's just say, or let's just say you're going for $15. So you've made $5 a bag. So five, so five times, so you probably made maybe, you know, five times a hundred, you know, 500 bucks, you know, that's all right. So, so you would have made that in the overall, but in terms of your net profits, you've made 500 bucks in, in an hour or two of work. I mean, some people make that in three days of work. So it's amazing. You can give them a, you know amazing live stream experience, but then also potentially at the end, a little business opportunity for yourself to make a bit of extra money. Okay. And this is definitely starting to work a lot. Um, so definitely keep this under, under, under wraps and use it if you can, if you've got that product 
on tap but obviously make sure you might even say that I've only got a hundred to sell okay so there's there's ways that you can limit yourself because you might get more than that in the sales and won't be able to make it but how good would it make even to make a hundred dollars within that hour awesome you know so that's the sort of thing you can do with live streams obviously you can make money really quickly but you can connect straight away you know they could be on the train watching you you can connect like you're a friend and that connection is just, you know, maintained. It builds that rapport with your followers. And that's what Livestream can do. It's amazing. So definitely give it a go.